The spanning tree protocol STP is a network protocol that builds a loop-free logical topology for Ethernet network. The basic function of the STP is to prevent bridge loops and the broadcast reaction that result from them. Spanning tree also allow a network design to include by uplink providing for tolerance if an active link fails. Now we start the basic configuration of the STP with uh, ENSP. Now we start the ENSP. We create new topology. Okay, now we select on uh, cloud we take this one cloud one double click we add ethernet is some port you could beat our ethernet add one add two okay now we add laser to switch Add computer one or computer two. We add a connection cable. This one to one to one to two one to two one to two one. Two to one, and then we add this one three two three three two three. Okay, we add the topology already. We start our device. Okay. We start this device. Click start. Right click start. Okay, now we start our device. At this one, we say this one is switch. A W A. This one we say. Uh, w B W C uh, W D We have four switch Now we configure the STP mode on the switch A and configure switch A as the root bridge. In addition, set the path cost calculation method to the Huawei priority method. So we click on double click on switch A and then we start configuration. I Y S system U. See, my M I W A S T P mode S T P. Now the mode is high S T P root primary root primary STP STP part cost standard STA and DAR that legacy 
and then we quit save and click yes okay now we configure the root of switch a already now we continue to configure STP mode on a switch C and configure switch C as the secondary root bridge. In addition, set the path cost calculation method to the Huawei priority method and disable STP on the root connecting to PC1. So we start the switch C stem view stem view c stp mode stp stp mode stp stp root stp root secondary con the re stp path cost path cost standard as kc interface Enter interface E zone lưu zone lưu to this one we said we said interface zero let's to STP we disable on this part with the interface with save and then previous okay now we set switch C or D we continue to set switch D Configure the STP mode on switch D and set the path cost calculation method to the Huawei priority method. In addition, set the path cost of the Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 2 to 20,000 and disable STP on the port connecting to PC2. STP path cost standard legacy We disable STP 
on port connect to PC2 this sub ball quit and then we press save quit again save yes okay we sub stp on switch the already we continue to set stp on switch b configure the stp mode on switch b and set the path call calculation to method to the Huawei priority method we double click i see stem u see name A W use B STP We can con you type in or we can enter A T P mode STP STP part car Standard part call standard legacy standard legacy we with sale yes now we have configure for switch as STP and we need to enable STP on all device on the ring network we need to enable STP system view STP enable now we have enable STP on switch switch A and you quit save yes we continue to switch C stem U stem U STP and Nabal read sale we just we continue click con enable our switch D system view STP enable sale we just Okay. U STP and up ball. Great. Save. Yes. We need to verify the configuration by using command display STP prep command. So uh, we go to switch A and then we check the STP that we have configured by using command this play STP break. Okay, all the port this one desirable STP state for what then proportion and we go to switch C this play STP brief see we have this one root break and we want this 
sign up more for what they the route forwarding and it's a bubble forwarding One alter this cutting, this one root forwarding. This side of ball for voting, for this side for voting, and this one uh, root for voting. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel to get a new video. Thank you.